Hey everybody, this is example number three for structural dynamics uh, covering the response to harmonic excitation. The problem statement that we have is the single degree of freedom system shown below has the following properties. It has a total weight equal to 1,000 pounds. The spring stiffness is equal to 2,500 pounds per inch. So if the system is excited at resonance by a harmonic force with an amplitude of 500 pounds, we need to find the displacement amplitude of the force response after one and a quarter cycles, 10 and a quarter cycles, and 20 and a quarter cycles. So 1.25 cycles, 10.25, and 20.25 cycles. So here's our undamped spring mass system. And the spring stiffness is equal to 2,500 pounds per inch. And the mass has a weight equal to 1,000 pounds and it's excited by some type of harmonic uh, force and this harmonic force can be written the function can be written uh, describing this force as a mathematical function equal to the amplitude times sine of omega t so the amplitude of this harmonic force we know is 500 and sine of omega t and omega here is the excitation frequency the frequency of this harmonic force before we proceed with the solution, I just want to let you guys know that this example is brought to you by Bentley. And Bentley Systems is a software development company that supports the professional needs of engineers, designers, planners, and contractors responsible for creating and managing infrastructure. Bentley has tailored software applications for design, modeling, and analysis of buildings, structures, bridges, plants, and more. I have used Bentley's software and I can say that the software was very easy to use and the support that came with it was impeccable. Whenever I needed help, the Bentley team was there for me. So here's their website, Bentley.com. There's a link to Bentley.com and some of their YouTube channels within the description part of this video. So if you're a student and want to get familiar with the software and get a leg up over your colleagues during your job search, academic licensing is available through Bentley. And if you're a practicing engineer and you want to sharpen up your skills, they have a bunch of videos and webinars on their website as well as their various YouTube channels. So please check them out. And now coming back to our structural dynamics problem, the first thing we're going to do is look at the mathematical expression for the displacement of the mass. So what we have is an, un we have is an undamped spring mass system. And it's excited by some harmonic force. And we have a situation, the problem statement said that we have a situation of resonance. So resonance means that the circular natural frequency, the natural frequency of the system is equal to the frequency of the forcing function of the harmonic force. So here's a mathematical expression for this type of for the displacement displacement of the mass under this under under this resonance case. It's going to be equal to x times sine of uh, omega t plus this phase angle. This is phase angle. And then plus x sub o times omega divided by 2 times t times sine of omega t. So this expression has two, uh, two terms. One is a free vibration term, which, which means that this describes the motion of the mass without any type of forcing function. It's, uh, it's just vibrating without any, uh, when he, without any external force being applied. And this part, the force response, uh, the force response is, describes the behavior describes the response of the mass, displacement, displacement of the mass due to the harmonic uh, force, the excitation, excite, excitation force. And this is equal to, again, x sub o times omega divided by 2 times t times sine of omega t. So what we're interested in, the problem statement asks us to look at the force response amplitudes. So this is what we're going to look at, this part of the equation. We're going to ignore this part for right now. So. We'll just simplify this equation. Uh, we'll just only, like I said, only consider the force response. So we just took this part of the equation and moved it here. So that's all we see. Next, we're going to calculate x uh, sub o. And x sub o, you can think of it as an equivalent static deflection that would result if you would apply a force of magnitude f sub o. Which is, a ma which is the amplitude of the harmonic force. 
So the static deflection is going to be equal to force divided by stiffness. So the amplitude is 500 pounds divided by 2,500 uh, pounds per inch is the spring stiffness. So this X sub O is equal to 0 0.2, 0 uh, 0.2 inches. Let me just make sure the units are correct. Yeah, so this is in inches. Next, we're going to calculate the mass. And the mass is equal to the weight of this mass divided by the gravitational acceleration. So it's 1,000 pounds divided by 386.4 inches per second squared. So our mass is equal to 2.588 pounds second squared per inch. After this, we're going to calculate the circular natural frequency of this uh, spring mass system. And that's equal to the square root of the stiffness divided by the mass. And that comes out to be 31.08 radians per second. So now let's simplify our mathematical expression that we had. And now we can go ahead and plug in the numbers. So we know x sub o. We know this, we know this value. We know the circular natural frequency. So it's 0 0.2 times 31.08 divided by 2 times t times sine of omega t. And here in, in this omega, I didn't, I didn't include, I didn't input the value of 31.08 right now. And you'll see why in a little bit. So I just left it in symbolic form right now, instead of actually inputting an actual number of 31.08. So now, here what we have is 3.108 times t times sine of omega t. So we need to find the displacement. If we go back to our problem statement, we need to find the displacement amplitude after a certain number of cycles. So, so number of, for, for the number of cycles, we need to get the t, the time here, t here and t here, in terms of the number of cycles. So the number of cycles is equal to t divided by the natural period. So we rearrange this equation and we find that t time equals number of cycles times natural period. And so it's n, uh, n times t. And so n, and then the natural period is equal to 2 pi divided by omega. So t equals 2 pi n divided by omega. And now what we're going to do is just take this expression and plug it into here, and then also here, in the two locations of t. And that's what we did here. So 3.108 times 2 pi n divided by omega times sine of omega times 2 pi n divided by omega. So we can see here this, this omega and this omega cancel out. And that's why I didn't include, I didn't input it uh, in the earlier steps, the actual value. So here's what we have, 6.216 times pi times number of cycles divided by omega times sine of 2 pi n. Now we can easily calculate the displacement amplitude of, for, of the force response after any number of cycles. So for 1.25 cycles, we just plug in n equals 1.25, and omega here is 31.08. And then times sine of 2 pi and n here is 1.25. So the displacement amplitude of force response after 1.25 cycles is equal to 0 0.785 inches. We do the same thing. Now we just use n equals 10.25. And the amplitude is equal to 6.44 inches. And for 20.25, uh, we, uh, we find the amplitude is equal to 12.72 inches. And this is the end of this example. Please subscribe to the channel. Like the Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash engineering examples. And also uh, visit the website at engineeringexamples.net. And you can sign up for our email list where you can stay up to date on the latest engineering content that we're producing. See you guys in the next video. Thanks.